pages and documents and all this sort of stuff and how it sort of works. Um, but it's really important to remember that um, this all works seamlessly and there seems to be a perception that you need to sort of um, work on this as a as a product that has to be done manually for yourself. But I'm going to give you an example. Over here on the right-hand side of this tutorial this time, I've got my iCloud account where I've logged into. If you notice, there's a thing called iWork down the bottom. So I'm going to click on iWork in itself. It looks a little bit different because I'm sort of squishing this up on the page. Um, so please bear with me as it does this sort of stuff. And if you have a look, it's going to bring up um, all of my documents and all that sort of stuff. I'll drag this over a little bit more so you can see. Um, but in general, it's going to give you options like this is my pages, this is my chemo, and this is my numbers, okay? Because I have all three of them. So if you notice that this replication is exactly the same as what I see on my iPad, and that's a really important feature. So I'm going to have, I'm going to go to here. Remember, this is going to be behind, and I'm going to leave this baby one and the first one you can see. Watch what happens this time when I create a new document. If I go into tab, and I'm going to go create a document, I'm going to choose this project proposal. So it's got a nice big picture in it. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that for the moment so that it's created it and then go documents again. If you notice that this arrow then gets um, added to this. This is like syncing it up to your iCloud account. Whenever you create something, whenever something's adjusted, whenever you put something into your pages document here, you'll see that it starts to then send that up to iCloud. And then I can access that if I wanted to from any other computer by going to iCloud and clicking the iWork function. Now, if you notice on the right hand side now, in my iCloud where I'm logged in, so www.icloud.com and under iWork, you will see that there is a button there and that project is being uploaded and ready to go for me to download. Now, the rendering the picture will take a little bit of time, but say I've got it up there then and I've only got a Windows computer. When I tap on it once, or any of these, I can choose to download it as any one of those versions. So say I, it's a pages document here, I can choose to download it as a Word document so that I can work it on my computer, and vice versa, if I go to this arrow here, I can then, uh, sorry, this cog up here, I can upload a document into here, which will then sync down to my iPad. So iCloud syncing and all those sorts of things becomes really easy over time because it just works, as long as you've got it set up.